India's COVID crisis is spilling across its borders with its neighbour Nepal suffering a 1,200% rise in cases. Friday's record new case count is almost 9,200 according to the health ministry and for the fourth day in a row 50 or more people there have died from the virus. Hospitals in the poor mountainous country rapidly running out of beds and oxygen. Crematoriums and temples at full capacity leaving residents of the capital to cremate bodies of coronavirus victims out in the open. The Prime Minister this week pleaded to the international community for help. Pandemic like this spares no one and no one is safe. It is in this vein I would like to request our neighbours, friendly countries and international organisations to help us with vaccines, diagnostic equipment and kits, oxygen therapy, critical care medicines and critical care furniture to support our ongoing efforts to combat the pandemic. Now, a month ago, Nepal was reporting about 100 cases a day. Right now, two out of five people testing for COVID are coming out positive. And I'm joined now by Nepal's Prime Minister, KP Sharma Oli. He comes to us live from the capital, Kathmandu. Mr. Prime Minister, thanks for your time. Our condolences to your nation uh, for losses to this virus. Um, I, uh, as to the numbers, uh, on Friday, Nepal, a record new number of cases. How is your country placed to handle this surge in terms of resources and medical infrastructure? Thank you very much. And you already gave some background also, and uh, my call to the neighbors and international um, uh, friendly countries and organizations for help uh, of, uh, of COVID vaccines. Uh, uh, right now, of course, the uh, pandemic is spreading in uh, Nepal. Um, uh, like uh, some other countries uh, in our neighbors also, the COVID-19 situation in Nepal is... Uh, under control now, we must say, and uh, uh, we have uh, 78,629 active cases. Mm. As of now, recovery rate is 68.6 percent. Mm. And right. as of yesterday, 8,579 people lost their lives. It's a uh, very um, a huge number for uh, uh, our situation, and we are very um, worried about this and we are trying to control which is 0.95% of total cases um, so uh, more than less than 1% modern period is now um, and we are taking very serious measures to control uh, the situation to supply oxygen, to supply beds, to supply ICU um, beds and other facilities to the patients and uh, ambulances in the city areas, um, uh, mostly in the, city, in the city areas that it's uh, uh, right. straight. Um, and we are trying to control it uh, and using our um, strength and we are concentrating our entire force to um, uh, prevent from the um, disease. And we are launching uh, different programs to uh, alert the people uh, and firstly, uh, uh, to combat uh, with this uh, uh, or any type of uh, pandemic, uh, first thing is awareness of the people and to uh, um, uh, protect the people from uh, being transmitted. Right. Uh, so we are confronted in uh, this uh, if, if, if I can ask, I mean, the, the, the numbers are, are really worrying. A month ago, Nepal had 100 cases a day. Friday, more than 9,000. I mean, uh, last weekend, I think 44% of Nepal's COVID tests came back positive. What, what went wrong and what can you do to reverse this? Last year, we were able to control the pandemic and, and it's uh, straight and... Uh, uh, we controlled, uh, the mortality rate was in zero, and um, uh, the transmission rate also was uh, around 50 uh, per day. And uh, the negligence among the people was increased, uh, and uh, because it is, uh, people thought that it is controlled already, uh, and there is no problem, so um, uh, 
for this reason, again, uh, contamination and uh, the um, uh, transmission from one to another um, is the right opportunity. So uh, it uh, uh, took again a uh, second wave of the uh, problem. Uh, yeah. So we are now uh, unconscious and concentrating our efforts to uh, make the people aware and protect people uh, from being transmitted. We, 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 I, I understand. Yeah. I mean, one, one thing I wanted to ask you, um, uh, because I know your time is limited, many big public events went ahead last month. There are festivals scheduled for this month um, that haven't been cancelled. I mean, do you think that's a mistake? Why do there were many festivals and uh, events that were held last month. Do you think it was a mistake to have allowed those to go ahead? 